that generally within society, education just gets a really bad rap in the U.S. Uh, a lot of bad media. Mm -hmm. Do you see that here in the educational system here, or do you think most people think it's a pretty good system? When, when you have contact with parents who have children here, most of them um, agree that it's really, really good. But when you listen to the public opinion, uh -huh. it's more or less negative. So it depends where you put focus on, mm -hmm. right? And the point is that um, also parents lack that um, contrast um, in Slovenia, right? Mm -hmm. They don't know what schools are like, I don't know, somewhere else, how well equipped they mm -hmm. are, how we take care of um, disabled children, of children who have some medical treatments and right. uh, let's say the um, food that we prepare, the buses that bring children to school, the, all the financial support and all sorts of things that we give to our pupils uh, is sometimes they need to be reminded. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, it's, it's people who work in school really work with heart, but they're not a good promoter. The mm. good promoters and we do not promote in the outside right we don't have PR right. to say oh let's see what we are doing and then when I start when people come here and I say let's let's um, let me show you what we did in this and this and this mm -hmm. and this and they say wow we didn't know we do that why don't you tell that why don't you come bring I don't know the media here and tell them what you do mm -hmm. but our priority is child mm -hmm. So, true child parent is happy, right? If you, as a parent, can bring your child to school and go to work and feel free and happy that your child is in safe hands and that when you come back, the child will be happy, uh, fit it, um, uh, fat, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, he or she has learned something new, uh, developed skills, made friends, and so on. What else do you want? Mm -hmm. If a if a <laughs> child if a parent's not happy with public school, yeah, can they? Uh, the other trend in the U.S. is um, online learning mm -hmm. at home. Yeah. So um, kids just get a computer program, sit there in their house, and they get up in whatever time they want. And I'm telling you. I think it's crazy because you're missing out on the, the social yeah. aspect and all those other things, but there's a lot of uh, crazy yeah. people in the U.S., right? Just look at the ones that voted for Trump. But, <laughs> but my, my question is this, is that a possibility here? Um, you can um, educate child at home, Yeah. but at the end of school year, child um, comes to school and passes the exams. And what if, if they don't pass? If they don't pass? Next year, they need to enter regular program and visit school every day. Okay. So, um, we have some um, pupils who are educated at school, at home. Mm -hmm. um, some are a special story, but a, a very successful girl, because she gets a, a lot of support at home from her parents, but the parents come to school regularly. But this isn't a common thing, most people... But, but yeah, it. it's allowed... Um, to educate child at home. Right, but it's it's a very small a very percentage. Very small percentage, yes. Okay, yeah. La so last question. Let's talk about um, where this, your school fits into the vocational program and how that works. So um, the kids then at the end of ninth grade, they can go to the gymnasium. Yes. And, or they can go to what, vocational, vocational. technical yes. school? Yes, yes. Okay, so how does that develop? How do they come out? How do you work? talk with parents, how do they determine what kids might go where, mm -hmm. and that whole yeah. system. Oh, that's quite interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we st start maybe in the sixth grade more um, directly. When we have some special days, like um, Natural Science Day or Technical Day and so on, we invite once a year um, students from other schools, from vocational schools, and um, they prepare programs that fit our curriculum, but we do it together. So let's say, um, and through that, we promote, I don't know, it's not promotion, it's, let's say, <laughs> learning. Mm -hmm. um, different um, 
skills and professions, we, we open, let's say, possibilities. Mm -hmm. And that this goes on for, uh, for four years, right? We also take them to um, companies all around here. Uh, we have um, some um, like fairs mm -hmm. um, once a year uh, where schools come together and they um, present their programs. And also in our school, we have in December, we call it um, a market of high schools, or let's say, <laughs> and we invite um, teachers and students from schools here in the vicinity um, to come and uh, promote what their programs. Mm -hmm. And usually we get 26 to 27 schools. And uh, they all gather in one afternoon, parents come, they talk here, uh, here in our school. Okay. Yeah. So let's say technical schools come here and uh, their students um, promote what they do. Maybe mm -hmm. they show some, let's say, some they made and so. Um, then we have uh, a, um, in the eighth grade, parents uh, come to school. They have a meeting with school um, psychologists who is uh, in charge of uh, career orientation and she um, introduces them to what is going to happen in the ninth year, how we guide uh, students through that uh, process of choosing, um, let's say, where they are going to continue education, what are the trends in the labor market, um, and um, a lot of parents here um, have their own companies. Uh, let's say if someone is, um, I don't know, a woodworker, would like his children to be in the same business, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, and we have in the local uh, community here some companies that, let's say, are struggling to find workers. Mm -hmm. um, and that's quite, let's say, comfortable. Um, and in the last years, the rate of students who go to gymnasium is falling. Right. And I think this is okay because we um, make a lot of damage to students who are ambitious but don't have the abilities um, to, let's say, the stamina and so on. To what percentage yeah. of kids will ultimately go to the university overall? Overall? 30% would get a I degree think, I or think less? More. more? I think more, yes, because it's quite the, the system. You, you can, let's say, go to technical school or vocational school, but then in the end you can go to the university. To university. Yeah, you, you, you have lots of steps and passages right. there. And then the university is almost free here anyway. Yes, right? it's almost free and almost everyone has university degree. <laughs> because uh, in the past years I think there was a lot of unemployment and it was somehow... Um, the idea was, let's say, you stay in the educational system, not on the dole, right? So. But mm -hmm. now the things are reversed. Now there's a lot of work and um, we're looking for workers, not only in public sector, but also in... Um, Do you have vocational schools close to here? In Ljubljana, that's capital. Oh. Uh, that's, you, you've seen what's... 20 minutes 20, in? Yeah, 20 minutes. So the kids would have to take a bus? The bus, yeah. But we have a, a bus that is um, goes every 20 minutes to Ljubljana, so that's okay. not, not a problem. <laughs> Okay, but so you don't have any in your neighborhood no, here? No, They're no. all in this? Yeah, uh, either to the south or to the north of our city. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's not a problem. Right, right. Yeah. But for the most part, vocational schools have a good positive halo. I mean, people think it's a good option. Yeah, I, I, I think that most schools do well. Um, some will have to improve as mm -hmm. far as I think but <laughs> right. um, but at the end of a ninth grade if a student doesn't want to study anymore they don't have to yeah they don't have to right because yeah. that's it it's only compulsory to yeah the ninth grade. but it usually does not happen right uh, or at least they go to some vocational school and then um, if um, they don't get enough support um, they quit mm -hmm. because but basic school gives a lot of support to children and to parents Mm -hmm. But when they go, when they complete, uh, when they finish school here, that support is, let's say, 10% of what we get, what we give. Mm -hmm. Final question, promise. Are 
Teachers grade one through three, are they paid the same as teachers in grade nine? Yes. So, as you go up? Yes. It depends only the number of lessons that you teach. Okay. Uh, our teachers, the majority, teaches 22 lessons a week. Mm -hmm. The teachers of Slovenian language teach 21. Mm. Those who are in after school activities, 25. Mm -hmm.